nobody you know, nobody you know has become successful outside of it being given to them from their family. Nobody you know has actually created success without working their face off. It doesn't exist. So you can sit and talk about luck and you can sit and talk about this, that, or the other thing, but I promise you, the only controllable thing you have is your work ethic. You need to deploy serious, serious self-awareness and figure out who you are. I implore you to start matching your work ethic and your actions to your mouth. Why is LeBron James who he is? It's not because he's lucky. You know, everybody say, you know, he's lucky. Shit, he may have certain physical tactics. Or Michael Jordan, remember I interviewed him years ago. And I said, what makes you the best in the world? Is it skill, is it talent, is it ability, is it background, is it training? And he was so awesome. He said, Tony, I can tell you the truth that it won't sound like hyperbole or false modesty. He said, I didn't even make the high school basketball team my sophomore year, I was cut. He said, what it is is every day I demand more for myself than anybody else could possibly expect. I don't compete with other people, I compete with what I'm capable of. This is like that kind of standard is inspiring. Today, the 18 founders of Alibaba, a lot of people think they are legendary. So I'm like, wow, you're Alibaba founders. You must be super good at it. Honestly, most of us cannot find a job in the early days. We're not that smart. Uh, none of us graduate from a, you know, a great university. Um, but the thing is that we are ready to learn. We believe in the future. If we work together, if we will learn, if we improve, we'll be there. I'd say the number one common thread of anybody that I work with is successful. Financial, athletes, people in politics, it's hunger. You know, you and I both know intelligence is a pretty damn valuable tool, but there are a lot of very smart people who can't fight their way out of a paper bag. And then when you find somebody who has that hunger, the hunger that doesn't go away, that hunger to be more, to do more, to give more, that hunger that never ends, um, you know, that's how you get these people that are the best in the world at whatever they do. And so if you can, I think everybody has that hunger, but for some people it's been asleep for a long time because they're afraid. They're afraid that I'm gonna get hungry, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna fail. And so it's human nature to protect yourself from the fear by just lowering your expectations. But one of the things I've learned is you get what you tolerate. You get what you tolerate in yourself, you get what you tolerate in your life, and sooner or later, we sometimes hit a point where we say, not another day, not another hour, this is done. I'm not walking this way, I'm not talking this way, I'm not living this way, I'm not gonna be in this relationship anymore, I'm gonna change it. And when people do that, that's the beginning of a breakthrough. Success is not something you pursue, success is something you develop. People are often asking me, how do you develop an above average income? And the answer is, become an above average person. Develop an above average handshake. Some people want to be successful and they don't even work on their handshake. As easy as that would be to get started on. They let it slide, they don't understand. Develop an above average smile. Develop an above average intelligence. Develop an above average interest in other people. Develop an above average intensity to win. See, that will change everything. Learn to work harder on yourself than you do on your job. The first decision that you're making of the day is to actually get up and get moving. That means you are persistently bigger than your excuses. You are persistently bigger than feeling lazy. And you are persistently beating the feelings that typically stop you. So when you go so hard, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, you have to have time set aside to quiet and recover. Recovery's big, the mind, especially the mind and the body. This is my time, there's no phone calls, there's no emails, the world does not exist. Because I have to get ready for tomorrow. Get the body opened up, why? Because as, I, I won't get, you know, but your body's getting tight. You go hard, a lot of people go hard. What mm -hmm. happens is that stress starts to tighten up that psoas muscle. Because I always say in life is the dance between what you desire most and what you fear most. So if you can expand your desires and break through your fears, you expand your life massively. It's about what you're saying to yourself, but it also comes with work. So whenever I was getting beat down, physically, mentally, spiritually, whatever I was going through, just saying, you know, I would put, you know, you can't hurt me. A lot of people start from a good starting point. They have a good foundation. What if you can surpass all of these? 
If everybody who was way up here started up here, and you had, you started with no legs, you had to grow legs to even start walking, and then crawling, and then running, and then you start passing people and all this given to them. I had to use all this negative shit that was making me weak and horrible as a person. I had to use this as the power that now fueled me. I had to flip it on his head and say, hold up. This might be exactly what I need. The darkness is exactly what I need. It's how you look at your situation. And I was looking at it all fucked up. To me, this is a world is flat moment that the people who've learned to game the system, that this discomfort that we feel, we're, we actually are right. Like, they actually don't understand the game they're in. Business is an infinite game, and when you play with a finite mindset, lots of people suffer, including the companies that they themselves are trying to build. That's the great irony. The great irony is the way you build great companies is with an infinite mindset. The way you build great companies is by prioritizing people before profit. The way you build great companies is will before resources. Both things are important, but there has to be this general leaning where we can feel, when we come to work and feel like we're part of something bigger than ourselves, where we feel that our work and our effort is worth more than simply the money we make. Stop being this high school dropout. Stop giving up, stop sleeping on the streets, stop walking up and down Finkel Avenue like you ain't got nothing and get your GED. Stop being afraid to take a test. Who are you right now? And who must you become in order to create what you want? What has to change about you? You're not going to be the best. You're not going to catch the best if you're not intentional and deliberate. And there are those of you in your, in your space and whatever you're trying to do, you don't even represent the best in your space. And you're still not giving 120. You're trying to catch the guy. You're trying to catch the female. That's the best. And you're waking up and giving me 70%. You're giving me 80%. But yet you have these dreams that you're going to be the best. Oh! And lots of people are hopeless and nihilistic. Way more people than you think. And part of that is because no one's ever really encouraged them. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. Every single thing you said you wanted, you wanted to accomplish, you wanted to do, guess what? We still got time, baby. It is not lost. We still have time. That's right. You still got time, baby. This isn't about playing basketball like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade. There's guys in the NBA that are never gonna play basketball like that. This is about being able to think like a champion. Know what goes on in their heads. Understand how you can relate it to your business and whatever you do to take yourself to the next level. Many of you, as I have been, as I am, are where you are in your life based upon what you believe. And it's not just what you think you believe on the surface, it's also your shadow beliefs that are holding you back from moving into the life that you believe you deserve. What I know is if you're not looking at the shadows, if you're not looking at what is subconsciously running through the tape in your mind, telling yourself you're not good enough, you're not worthy enough, you're not smart enough, you're not enough, which is a tape that's playing for a lot of people. If you're not conscious of that, then you end up acting out of that belief system and not out of what you know to be the truest or want to be the truest for yourself. But you don't become what you want because so much of wanting is about living in the space of what you don't have. That's why Jim Carrey's story is so powerful because he started to act as though he already had it. He would go up to Mulholland Drive, he would drive away saying, thinking, I already have those things, I just haven't accessed them as yet. I believe those things are going to come to me and I'm going to act like they are, so I'm gonna move forward in my life in order to draw that to myself in such a way that my actions are in alignment with what I say I believe. So if you start to think about that, really, why are you where you are in your life? The choices that you have made have been become. What makes for a bad day is snoozing, 
starting your day off late, starting your day off tired, starting your day off by mainlining everybody else's news feed on social media and looking at everybody else's life and, and saying to yourself, oh my God, they're on vacation or gosh, they look so great or their friends are so fancy or my gosh, they've got so money. You start off your day looking at that, you're never gonna have a good day. You gotta start off your day by getting up on time, figuring out your priorities, and then getting to work on them. I think the single biggest reason why people have bad days is because they start them off by looking around at everybody else and seeing what they're doing instead of having the focus and the discipline to actually start your day off with you in control and with your priorities front and center.